editors are your business partners, but they are not your writing mentors. So don't expect an editor to edit your work and make it better. That's your job. Hello and welcome to this new video about medium publications and three of the most common misconceptions about medium publications for beginners. I'm so excited to share these tips with you today because medium publications are the key to growing your audience if you're a beginner, especially if you are a beginner on medium without an existing audience on any other platform but also if you're just a writing beginner. So if you've never published your work before, if you have no writing experience, publications can really be your holy grail to growing on a platform like Medium. And in the next few minutes, we will cover why so many people actually fail to collaborate with publications. And in my opinion, that's actually one of the core reasons why so few people actually succeed on Medium. My core premise is that you can view publications just like as if it was a business partner. So you can really treat publications like you would treat a business partner in any kind of, of business relationship. But the problem is that a lot of people don't do that. They don't know what to expect from publications. They don't know how they can actually get in touch, communicate properly with publications, etc. And what, what happens if they do that is that they actually have wrong expectations. So let's dive into it and cover some of those wrong expectations and talk about how you can actually turn the game around and make publications work for you instead of against you. The first thing you need to know about publications is that most editors don't get paid for managing the publication or managing submissions. Everybody who has a Medium account can create a publication. So a publication or just starting a publication actually doesn't have anything to do with credibility. So just because a publication exists doesn't mean it's a good place to publish with. So doesn't mean it's a good partner for you because everybody can start a publication. And um, the sad reality is that 99% of all medium publications are started randomly by random people who have no writing experience or expertise and who just start a publication because they are frustrated um, when they get rejected by big publications. So a lot of people get a few rejections from big publications, they get frustrated, then they start their own publication and invite other writers to join them. Now, that's nice, but it really doesn't benefit anyone because if you start a new publication, you will have a really hard time to grow it. And actually, you cannot expect anything from a publication that is just new. So they don't have any trust, they don't have any followers, they don't have an audience that trusts them. So it's actually nothing more than just a, a new profile on medium of an author. And uh, that also explains why most editors don't get compensated. So there are only very few editors in bigger publications who make money through their editing efforts, who are either employed through, through the publication or who have other kind of benef benefits and incentives. Um, but even if they do make money through the publication and through their editing efforts, most editors don't do this full time. So for most editors, this is either a side project um, or it's, it's, it's their side hustle or it's just one of many projects they are working on. And this actually explains why you cannot expect editors to like scroll through submissions and respond to your submissions 24 seven because they have other duties, they have other jobs, they have a family, a private life as well. Um, and most of them do that for free. So you, you really need to be patient with editors. You need to understand their situation. You need to like really respect the fact that they cannot 
uh, always reply quickly. They cannot give you feedback on your work through private notes, etc. Because this is something they are doing for free. And you need to be really grateful for the fact that publications exist, that they even have a look at their articles. If, even if you get rejected, be grateful for the fact that you can send articles in because most publications accept submissions. And this is actually a pretty, pretty big thing. So they could actually have a rule of not accepting any submissions of writers who don't uh, have at least a thousand followers or who haven't at least published 50 articles, etc. But they don't have these rules. So be grateful for that and appreciate the fact that you can actually send your work for them to review it. Now, the second fact that is often ignored is that a lot of editors have no idea how to write great articles on Medium. And this is something that um, shouldn't insult anyone or shouldn't be like um, a negative message, but it's just the sheer truth. Because uh, we already talked about the fact that everybody can create a publication. This also means that even if you have zero writing experience or expertise, you can start a publication and have a look at submissions in case you get some. What this means is that being accepted by a small publication and being published with a small publication is not a huge achievement. So be careful about which wins you celebrate, which milestones you actually appreciate about your journey and which to be like a bit more careful about. Because if you get accepted by a small publication, it doesn't necessarily mean that your story was good. It probably just means that they didn't even read your headline. They just accept anything that gets, um, gets into their inbox. So this is something to be really careful about. If you publish with big publications, you can at least be sure that some basic criteria are met and that you got um, a, a proper headline, a proper formatting of your story, etc. So big publications um, are wins. So getting accepted by big, big publications is definitely considered a win. But be careful about the smaller ones, because as I said, most editors, even with big publications, most editors don't really know what a really great medium story looks like or what it needs to have in order to perform really well, um, because that's that's not precisely their job. Their, their, their job is to serve their, their readers and not to help you write great stories or become a better writer. And um, this is actually the third and last point that I wanted to talk about. Publications are all about readers, not writers. The job of a publication and of a publication owner or of an editor is to serve their readers in the best possible way. A publication is not your writing coach or your writing mentor or it's, it's not your space to learn how to write better articles. The job of a publication is to serve their audience with the best possible content and with the most fitting content. So sometimes it might happen that you send a publication an article and it gets rejected. Um, and another publication accepts it and tells you that it's a great story. This doesn't mean that the first publication was wrong or that they didn't appreciate your story. It just means that they know what their audience expects and, and probably also likes. Um, and they just made decisions based on that. So that's the number one priority of a publication, basically to serve their audience. And nobody knows a publication better than their own editors. So they know what their readers want. So be careful about that. Being rejected doesn't necessarily mean that your work was bad or not good enough. Sometimes it just means that um, it was not the perfect fit for the publication and that's super important. And on the other side, don't expect an editor or a publication owner to invest a lot of time into you as a writer. So a lot of writers get frustrated because they don't get, they don't even get a rejection note or because they don't get feedback on their articles. Well, the truth is that's not the job of a publication editor on Medium. So if you receive feedback from an, from, from an editor, 
it's a massive add-on it's something they do even though they don't have to do it there are thousands of writers on medium and there are a bunch of really great writers on medium so if you cannot deliver great content somebody else will do and um, of course it makes the job of an editor a lot easier to just accept a great story instead of taking a okay-ish story and trying to feedback it and improve it and at the end of the day like they want to be efficient as well so editors don't have like hundreds of hours they can can use in order to like feedback writers and help writers improve that's not their job if you want to get accepted into big publications if you want to make more money if you want to reach a wider audience you need to invest time energy probably even money into understanding how and what you need to write to attract an audience and you need to understand and and actually do the work and write stories that get a lot of attention that get accepted by publications it's not the job of the publication to help you figure out how to do it it's yours so these are the three most common misconceptions about medium publications as we stated before don't expect publications to do the work for you instead go the extra mile study publications in depth see them or view them as your your business partner instead of a competitive um, competitive platform or source um, publications can be a great help in order to gain more traction reach more readers make more money on medium but you need to really invest the time into understanding what they are looking for what type of content they accept, how your stories needs to need to be written and formatted and structured in order to get accepted. I hope that these three points have been helpful for you. Thank you for joining me for this video. I hope to see you next time.